actual character was kind of nice to have that because it was a very calming and soothing type. You know, you have the difference where Ronin was kind of like, we gotta go, we gotta protect you. And the, the character for the queen, Queen Tara, she was very calm. It's okay, don't worry, you know. And so I think that kind of flow, um, it, you know, in contrast to that was really nice to have. And so yeah. in terms of character, yeah. In terms of her voice, uh, Beyonce actually doing the voice, I'm not too sure, but, um, but I think that's where we differ and differences are good. So you'll see more of our, our reviews about similarities and differences in terms of what we liked, what we didn't like about different films. Mm -hmm. And it's all okay. <laughs> I still I love her. I love her. <laughs> love. So I think in kind of like a summary or, or whatnot, what do you think um, we should give this film? Like, by the way, should we describe to them what our, our uh, system of rating would be? Yes. It's popcorn! Yeah, popcorn. You know you like popcorn. If I yes. had popcorn right now, I'd just throw it at you so you can eat it. <laughs> yes. you know? But um, yeah, popcorn. So we're going to do it out of 10 popcorns. And so we'll do a whole rating between, in the future shows too, one out of 10 popcorns. One out of 10. So how many popcorns would you give it, Maggie? I would give it an eight. An eight. Okay. Very generous. I would also give it, actually, a seven. And seven. just because... Um, I love it. I like it. But I like to see a couple of things that we mentioned earlier. But yeah, seven popcorns. If I had popcorn, I'd throw seven at you. Well, I gave it an eight. Um, I loved it. Um, I don't think it's a must, must see. But it is a film that you would love to take your children to see and uh, bring some awareness and have something to talk about after the film and you know share about nature and taking care and the, the, the importance of family unity. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. um, eight popcorns for me. I think that the, the film could have ended a little bit more with a bang mm -hmm. or even a sequel. You know, I can totally see it Maybe. being a sequel, but they didn't, they just like, Wah. So for me, I could have totally closed it in a different way, but I loved it. I think a popcorn is what it should receive, and yeah, I think you know what? Maybe in the sequel we're gonna be the voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we have one more thing to tell you. It's it's actually um, in the last month uh, we actually had the Asian American uh, Heritage Month. Yeah. And I wanted to kind of share that with you guys because come on, this this is me. I am Chinese. <laughs> so I do want to mention that because um, we have this one film that uh, was talking about just the Chinese Americans in the Delta of California. We're all Californian residents, and there's so many people in El Monte that are of Asian descent. And so I wanted to bring this film to you because the Bittersweet Roots, which is the title of the film, and Maggie's gonna, you know, probably watch it with me one of these days, right? Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited to hear about this film and really doing it this way where she can tell me a little bit about the film and I can ask the questions that you might be wanting to ask in regards mm -hmm. to this film that I will be watching soon. So go ahead. Yeah, so talk to us about this film called yes. Bittersweet mm -hmm. Roots. So, pretty uh, simply, just in a really like general summary, the whole film is is talking about this documentary. Actually, is talking about the Chinese in the Delta and how they contributed to the life in California, and so from how they worked in the farm areas, agricultural areas, to how they've you know worked in the railroads and everything. So really pinpointing a lot of the issues that surround a lot of the discrimination during that time and why they didn't get the deserved credit that they had in developing the lands in California. So I thought it was really neat because you know as a Chinese American woman it was very nice to see something, especially being born in East LA. Yeah, yeah, and um, <laughs> growing up in, in a you were, culture. You were born in East L.A.? I was born in the East L.A. I was born in the East L.A. <laughs> yeah, I was. Only a few of you got that I one. know. You know why? That's because if you don't remember this and you don't really understand what the heck we're doing, <laughs> that means you're too young. <laughs> or <Yeah>. too old. <laughs> oh, oh that, that's what I would I say. Did, oh, I snap. didn't go there, <laughs> did I? So, well, again, like, <laughs> going oh, back she was to born the, in East L.A. Yeah, I was born in East L.A. 
I love being Although a lot of people might think that I was the one born in East LA. Yeah. We could. You were born yeah. In East LA. You could be born in East LA. I can totally be born in East LA. Yeah. I think a lot of people think that I was born in East LA. Where were you born, Maggie? I was born in Glendale. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, Glendale's still in California, honey. It is. Right? It is. It's still so, part of LA. Yeah. So I proud to be here and so when I watched this film it was about Californians in the 1850s or so and then all the way until the like 1900s and I loved it because one of the things that I really got from it was how much they contributed and it's so underground but people don't really know about it so I was really glad because the people who produced this was through um, it was actually wow. filmed by a, a company but then it was actually uh, broadcasted through PBS SoCal so I think that was kind of a neat uh, way that for them to recognize the Heritage Month. And so hopefully we're going to get to see some of the clips maybe later on. But if not, you know, you can always, you know, download it, find it. But, um, but that's definitely one of the films that I really enjoyed, even though I know some of you guys might not like documentaries, but we are going to review documentaries, are we not? Yes, we are. Of course, it's important to see a little bit of everything. And documentaries always give us information and awareness and bring so much light mm -hmm. into a lot of the, the issues that we may not be aware of. Uh, one of the things that I did look into the film of A Bittersweet Roots was that the Chinese were the first immigrants mm -hmm. of the of, of Asia and that's I think that's something that I would love to mm -hmm. for you to talk about within the film yeah I think how uh, powerful that is that was pretty powerful for me because um, part of the film actually they talked about the Chinese Exclusion Act so that's the only ethnic group at this time that really and I want to say this with some disclaimer but they're the only group at this time um, in the history of California that were not allowed um, to immigrate to the United States. So for a long time, they weren't able to come to this country, even though it was open to everyone at that time. So it wow. was really hard for Chinese to immigrate, and there was so many population issues because they wouldn't allow women, Chinese American women, um, to come, but they allowed uh, the Chinese men to come because they wanted to take advantage of the labor. And so those were kind of interesting things. And then also in a certain year span, um, the Chinese Americans were actually gave half of the tax money for the state of California. They actually, all of their taxes, because they were taxed double, if not triple, and so all of their tax money at one point in time was half of all the tax paid, all the revenue paid in California. Wow. And so those are some of the things that historians had brought up in the film. That was probably one of the statistics that I thought was kind of neat to know, um, although kind of sad, and although it was you know one of those things that people don't really talk about, you know, and, and they kind of just, um, put it on the side they don't really think about it and yeah. you know in history books only recently actually in education they have the Chinese Americans now um, talked about in history books but before it wasn't and I don't know if um, you know a lot of people know but um, and for the railroads after the Chinese Americans had built it what they did was when they took pictures of it and they had it in the newspapers they actually asked the Chinese Americans to stay out of the photo and so that was one of the things that I learned outside of this film that it made me really sad. It made me think about what my roots are and everything and how um, to face and overcome these discriminatory kind of things. And so they asked them, they basically said, yeah, even though you worked on it, you're not going to be in the pictures. No credit. You know? Yeah. So I think that's uh, something that's powerful to know as we learn about who we are and what we're all about. So, yeah, yeah I hope you watch it if you can. Check it out. Definitely go look into into the film. I'm sure you can find it online, or uh, rent it, or buy it. I'm sure it's a great film. Um, and I, I thus bittersweet roots, right? Mm -hmm. Thus the name, because yeah. you know it, it it is bittersweet. Where thanks to the immigrants, we have you here. <laughs> I know. But um, <laughs> what they had to go through, and, yeah. and you know, we we know many of these stories and many cultures but I hope you go watch it I'll definitely be watching it and make, make sure you sure watch us next time next time when we on do Time show. Warner Channel 3 here in the city of El Monte on Showtime as Art calls it the Bel Air mm -hmm. of the San Gabriel Valley oh yeah <laughs> so so long see you next time see you next time